Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. So we're building robotic prosthesis, hands and legs, complex, big, wearable robotic devices for people that do not have hands and legs. We are a team of 80, New York, Berlin, Kyiv. Our products are on the market. We have more than 200 users in US and Ukraine. Let me share a bit of our story and ask some questions about the future. This is Volodymyr, one of our users. He lost both his arms in the war in Ukraine. After trauma like this, there is a period, desperate period. You do not believe that anything will be like it was. For Volodymyr, after getting bionic hands, he came back to his usual life and regained many of his previous abilities. But the most interesting thing is that he started to do something extra. How many of you paint? Let's raise our hands. Who has tried to paint? Volodymyr doesn't have bio biological hands. And he never tried to paint before. After getting bionic hands, he tried to paint. How many of you who paint tried art exhibition? To do art exhibition with your works? Not many. So Volodymyr doesn't have biological hands, but he did his first art exhibition one month ago. And what is the craziest thing? He is finishing right now courses to become a sniper, the most precise work in the world. Most of us will never try so precise work, but Volodymyr without bio biological hands is daring to try right now, and he will come back to the front line as a sniper. No, his hands, his bionic hands are not so good as our biological hands, but in five years, probably they will be. And if in five years they will be as good as our bio biological hands, what will happen in 10 years? Stronger, faster, lighter, interchangeable, more sensitive. Step by step, they will be way better. And the craziest thing is that he will feel better, will sleep better, will spend probably more time with more time with his kids, there is people, and probably will live longer than most of us here. Why? How many of you do use Aura smartwatches or Whoop? to monitor your hands. Let's raise our hands. Most of us here. So it's kind of small lab. We wear it every day to monitor some body parameters to help us live better. If it is small lab, Volodymyr has huge resource center. Big wearable device with a lot of sensors, gets a lot of health insights and body data. Step by step, this tech will come to most of us here. In several iterations, become slow, smaller and smaller. It will be part of our clothes. And uh, traditional wearables. And step by step, it will come finally some electronics that will be used inside us. So it will start from people like Volodymyr and will come to most of us here. Humanity is 150,000 years old, and uh, all this time we were doing some ambitious R&D. And all this time it was about many things around us. Infrastructure, food, clothes, 
everything around us. And this is the first time in human history where we started to improve ourselves. We became a product, a gadget, an object for R&D. And if it was 150,000 years of uh, natural limitations for us, right now we are entering the period of human augmentation, period of elimination of natural limitations. And uh, our role here is to help people in need with big wearable devices and getting to millions of these research centers for the benefit of our users and step by step for, them, for the benefit of most of us here. It's crucial here to be as fast as possible and to iterate fast. For this, we built our solution as an ecosystem, ecosystem of robotic devices, sensors, server parts, software platform, ecosystems that can get hundreds of millions data points per day per user for the benefit of our users. And for faster iteration, to build these devices faster and have many versions, different versions for different markets, we have own manufacturing facility and we, were, we are focused on the place in the world with the biggest need right now. We relocated our assembly line from Berlin to Kyiv, Ukraine, where there's a huge need because of the biggest war after the Second World War. More than 100,000 Ukrainians lost limbs, hands and legs because of the war, because of the invasion of Russia to Ukraine. And we can help most of them there. The crucial thing here is to iterate as fast our sensors. We start with several sensors right now and we are getting to 20 by partnership with several companies. Two weeks ago, Ukrainian government posted this video of one of our users, ex-soldier, who started to use our sensors to control drones and some other weaponry. Overall, we have more than 30 users in Ukraine right now who were soldiers and came back already to the front line to continue their duty and uh, there are very tough conditions for any gadget, especially for movable robotics. Tough conditions and even tougher stories from usage of the solution with weaponry up to RPG, in other words, bazooka, to usage of the devices by sergeants who lost limbs and now they are sergeants with bionic limbs, doing very precise work helping people. Step by step, we are increasing our user base. We are moving forward to the tech. We are looking for the strongest engineer in the domain, building international company. Now we are a team of 80. If you know people like this, I would appreciate an intro. And I'm here today, till the end of the day, to talk deeper. By the way, this is our logo. And uh, uh, one month ago, I had a conversation with my friend. And uh, he said that we discussed the logo. And he said that, OK, that logo reminds him uh, uh, products of uh, like companies that build some hygiene products. And I couldn't argue. This is our logo. It uh, is a flower with five petals. Five petals means human. And uh, flower means nature. And plus means augmentation or something extra. This is a logo of human augmentation. 
Thank you.